Have you have you ever gone to the Slate advice column? Oh God, no. They have they have a couple different advice columns on Slate, and the best part about it is, oh, this is from it. Yeah, this is this is from one of the advice columns. It's less about the advice that's given because sometimes the person gives relatively uh -huh. mundane advice. It's more about the type of person who is having a life crisis and would turn to Slate Magazine to fix it. To fix it. That's that's where the that's the beauty of the Slate. Because you advice know comes. somebody out there is reading this and going, ah, oh, that's great advice. When someone wrote the letter and they, yeah. they of all the places, like they could do dear. Dear Annie or whatever, they could do anybody. They could write for advice to anyone on earth. And they're going to pick like a 24-year-old random letter on the LGBTQ plus spectrum uh, editor from Slate Magazine to get the life advice over their wife leaving them for like another, another man or another, you know, whatever. And it's like, this is a 24-year-old journalism intern at Slate writing an advice column. They can't help you with your divorce, homie. Yeah. They're not they, they have nothing to give you. <laughs> Never nothing going to give. To you. Get My married. son Jack, 14, has been maintaining a spreadsheet that tracks all of his classmates' problematic actions. Jack has always had a difficult had difficulty fitting in, but he is a compassionate and intelligent boy. Mm. We do not allow <laughs> oh my God, our children next line. <laughs> We do not allow our children to have their own computers to prevent the risk of them being radicalized by alt-right websites. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, son. You can't have a computer because you might get radicalized. <laughs> you might be radicalized. You're well, it sounds like he's front. fucking radicalized right now. We found an Excel spreadsheet in Jack's folder that listed the names of all of his classmates as well as dates and descriptions of those problematic behavior. Some of the descriptions I saw include has a mom who is a cop. <laughs> That's problematic. No pronouns in Insta bio. Laughed at a fat joke. <laughs> List Guilty. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> Lists problematic show as one of their favorites. Mimicked a foreign accent and used cis normative language. Oh my, oh my god. god. This, this person's like uh, SJW Rambo in training. <laughs> yeah, he's like writing down a fucking manifesto the fuck while i am pleased to see jack oh, fuck. while i am pleased to see jack taking an interest in his peers i get a weird feeling about his spreadsheet you fucking should <laughs> as much as i don't condone the behaviors mentioned it seems a bit this. creepy <laughs> you made this thing you created this monster this you did this, this. kid when this kid goes and he murders all of his old to right <laughs> classmates he's gonna like, death note him yeah, he like eats their blood or whatever. That's on you. You created this, you weirdos. <laughs> it oh seems a bit creepy. Yeah, to say the least. It seems a bit creepy for him to be monitoring his classmates. I also wonder what he is trying to do with the document. Another concern is that we are white and some of the kids on the list are black. <laughs> God. It's, that in and of itself is problematic, man. What are you doing? You can't be writing down a list of black people's deeds. Given the long history of white people policing black existence. <laughs> you made this, you did it. I question whether Jack is the right person to be taking on this task and whether it would be more appropriate coming from a BIPOC person. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh that our, is a oh god you're not wrong that is a trip that's a fucking our, trip our white son can't be doing this <laughs> this is more appropriate for one of those dark people <laughs> <laughs> the brown peoples this is gold this fucking slate is that's amazing thank you